Okay guys, we are here in Baguio now and we're gonna be looking for some really awesome food places. There's a lot of great food up here in the mountains in the Philippines. We're gonna keep an eye out for something interesting. They got a steak restaurant right here. I think this is kind of like an American influence kind of restaurant. They do like pork chops, chicken chops. It looks too American though. I don't think I want like American food first day in Baguio. They got like filet mignon, porterhouse, tenderloin, a lot of really high quality steaks. Like I, I'm just not too much into that. A long line going into a restaurant. How long is the line? Long, long line. One hour? No, at least 30 minutes 30 or minutes. less. Oh no, oh. <laughs> 30 minute line to eat at Chinese Filipino food restaurant. But let's try it, let's see what it's like. We're gonna have to figure out if it's worth it to eat at the Chinese Filipino restaurant. Okay guys, this line is too long. I don't think I'm gonna wait in this line right now, but uh, maybe later we'll come back here and check it out. So it's supposedly like really good. A lot of people say it's amazing, but I don't know. It's Chinese Filipino food. I'm sure it's gonna be great, but we can go to Bunondo and have Chinese food. We're here in Baguio. We, we need to try the local Bagoinian cuisine. So, here we go, gonna cross the street. Okay, here's a little calendaria right here. They're cooking some yummy food right here. Ooh, calendaria, masarap. What is this one? Is this lechon? Caldeta. Uh, what's the number one not famous dish you guys make? This one. Ah. Oh. oh, okay. Bopis. It's Bopis? No. Uh, organ. Inner. Oh, okay, I'll try. i try. It looks very masra, very fresh. Oh, wow. Oh, what's inside here? Ooh, I want to try. Ooh, masra. You want to try this one? Yeah. How much is this one? 120. So you have Cardoretta too. And what's this one here? Oh, pork steak. So this is the special here, the most famous yeah. one. Okay. This is, uh, called Sinang Lao. What's the name of the restaurant here? Sun Grill. Sun Grill, okay. Yeah. Oh, you put some okay. onion. Onion leeks. Oh, wow. Here, here. Oh, perfect. What's this one right here? So no pinan pikan. Pinan pikan, no, we no. don't oh. serve pinan pikan. Oh, no, I wish you would sell pinan pikan. Next time. Next time, oh, really, okay. I'm here at Sun Girl and it starts with, uh, I guess you find this place X-A-N. So yeah, type that into Google Maps. It's actually right across the street from the very famous Chinese restaurant that is over there. So this is all beef. This is beef liver or kidneys, I believe. I think it's kidneys actually. This is their number one seller here. Supposedly this is Baguio cuisine. It comes in a nice cute bowl. I'm excited to see what this is like. doesn't taste really funky at all. It's just um, a little bit weird, but the actual broth itself is super flavorful. Really rich in vitamins, and I can just taste that it's really, really high quality beef soup. Really, really umami broth. Peppery, yeah, those fresh onions really give it a nice flavor as well. This is really good, actually. Some liver bits, you've got some kidney bits, and some other parts, I'm not sure what they are exactly, but it's super flavorful. The broth is just a perfect balance of savoriness and pepperiness and just a lot of flavors with that beef. If you are a little bit cold, this will definitely heat you up for sure. This is their number one seller here. I think that this is like really traditional here up in the mountains. Sometimes when you follow the lines, you find great stuff, but it's also really good to explore new things like this little mom and pop shop that actually makes really good beef soup. So this soup comes out to be 110 Filipino pesos or around two US dollars. Not bad at all. This is honestly one of the best soups I've had on this trip. Just it's very fresh. You can tell she just made it this afternoon and um, it's just been cooking those organs very, very well. I feel healthy drinking this soup. Okay guys, so this soup here is called Sinang Lao and it's absolutely amazing. It's a must try. If you come to Baguio, you gotta stop off here and have some Sinang Lao. 
very very local place here and uh, even here we got a shop they're selling some uh, some interesting fruits and some other things as well this is a very nice area to eat at like it's maybe it's also touristy but it's also for the locals that's what I like about this kind of place you just go where the locals go and it's pretty amazing definitely check this place out if you are in Baguio City and uh, it's pretty much just right across the street from that Chinese restaurant that's very famous but uh, yeah you know instead of eating where all the line is I think it's better to kind of eat where you know maybe locals are too as well maybe not just tourists but yeah here in Baguio there is a lot of tourists like a lot of hotels are full right now so that line is massive I mean that is a very touristy hot spot to have Chinese food but yeah what is this place oh yeah here we go round two hey hello ma'am what, what do you serve here what is this food here? Uh, porridge, sir. Porridge rice. Ah, yeah. with rice. Porridge. Yeah, yeah. I heard about this porridge in the Philippines. I never tried porridge in the you Philippines. Rice are very delicious. I never tried. Uh, how you much try, is it? Sir. How much is it for an order of porridge? Uh, it's about the same. The menu. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so this is Filipino porridge. Uh, which one do you recommend? Uh, overload, which, sir. Overload. Yeah. Oh no, too much. I, I don't want overload. I'm already getting really, really fat. Which, <laughs> like I, I'm getting really fat with the Filipino food. Uh, uh, maybe not uh, overload. Mix lugao, sir. You want mix lugao? Uh, mix uh, chicken, lugao. Chicken, egg, and oxtrike. Okay, so there's chicken, egg, egg oxtrike. Okay, yeah, I think I can do the mix. Mix, mix lugao, sir. How do you say it? Mix lugao. Mix lugao. Mix lugao. Mix lugao. Yeah. Mix lugao. Okay, yes. I got it now. Uh, so how long have you been making mixed lugao for? In three minutes. <laughs> oh no, but like how long? Uh, you, like ten years? Five years? No, sir. Three minutes. Only oh, three years. minutes. Okay, good to know. Is that for me? Yes, sir. Oh, it's mixed already lugao. done. Oh yeah. wow, you're so fast. Yeah, it's in three minutes. Oh wow. <laughs> it's oh fine, wow. Sir. Yeah. Very good. I'll get a shot of you guys later. Oh, is that uh, yeah. is that balut right there? Yes, yeah, sir. Is that balut? No, sir. Uh, half bird egg. Oh, yeah. oh, good. Okay. I like blue too though. We have Lots balut too. Oh, you have blue? Yeah. Oh, right now I can buy blue. Uh, we can. We hit, sir. Maybe later. Yeah. Maybe later. Uh -huh. um, yeah. How many years have you make, made the, the. Maybe 15 minutes, sir. Oh, no, no. Like, how many years have you been making this? <laughs> Five years? Ten years? Three minutes only, sir. No, no. Uh, oh, you just started today. Uh, Oh, five, five, five years. Uh, five yeah. years been five making years here. Five years in the making, sir. Uh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, guys. Right now, I'm trying the mixed lugao. So this looks absolutely amazing. We've got bits of chicken in here, and so this is a porridge that's made out of partially millet and partially rice, I believe. And we've got also calamansi. So this is really what sets the lugao apart, or the porridge apart from like different countries in the area uh, but yeah so we're gonna squeeze a little bit of this calamansi on here and actually I find that the calamansi seeds are not bad they don't taste bitter actually so I just eat the seeds as well uh, we've got a egg right here that we're gonna have to open up and throw in there as well so yeah this is an amazing little meal right here right on the street side across from the main street here in Baguio Park and it's also really close to the Baguio Night Market, which is pretty awesome. Let's give this a try with a little squeeze of that calamansi. They give me two calamansi, so I'm feeling very, very special today. Here we go. Very hot, though. Mm. Mm. Really, really good. So it's got like a hint of the pepper flavor, uh, but then also it's got like a very nice fresh chicken piece right there kind of a chicken breast and I think that it really gets better the more calamansi or more sour things you add to it the better this kind of dish is gonna be got a lot of seeds in there I'm gonna try calamansi seed with this porridge as well mm. that is amazing even better the more calamansi honestly the better so this lugao comes out to be about 85 peso. Got the tropical flavors of the calamansi, and then some fresh spring onions, the chicken. Okay, so we got the, the egg open. 
You know, I love Baloo too as well. Don't mind if it is Baloo, but yeah, today this is just a normal egg. But yeah, guys, it's just a really great time to be in Baguio right now because the heat in Manila is just unbearable. And uh, up here in Baguio, you know, it's just a bit cooler. It's like 20 degrees cooler than, than Manila. Filipino hard-boiled egg. So here in Baguio, actually, a lot of the chickens are free-range, so they just like let them roam around freely. I'm not saying that this is actually a free-range chicken, but a lot of them are ending up being free-range because, you know, they have a lot of space here. Honestly, this is a really good rice porridge. I, I have never had the Filipino rice porridge until today, and I am impressed. This is definitely not a bad rice porridge at all. This is just perfect if you're like not feeling too good that day, you got a weak stomach, you have something that's not going to be too hard on your stomach, this is absolutely perfect. I think there's like a little bit of a pork in here too as well. So there's some chewy bits, I think that's the pork. And then there's, a, there's still a big piece of chicken, but there's also a lot of bone in there. Pretty good. Enough to say, for the first ever Filipino porridge, this isn't bad, I think I can do this again. I think it's millet and rice is in this porridge. Okay guys, I just found some tripe in this. So yeah, there's actual pork or beef tripe. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't taste tripey at all. It doesn't have that funky, funky, smunky flavor. The way I can tell it's tripe is that it's very chewy. It's like a piece of octopus almost. That's like the texture I would describe. Then we got like a very big hunk of chicken right here. That chicken is very fresh, very good. You can taste that the chicken is like having a good life. This is a very generous portion of meat for the price, honestly. I mean, it's just a refreshing soup to have. Like, if you are very cold and you need some carbohydrates, this is where a lot of the Filipino vegetables come from. If I was hungover, this would definitely be a good hangover cure for sure. Highly recommend get extra calamansi, maybe even three would be even better but two is also good. Spicy vinegar, like Cinemac, would be good as well too. But um, I don't have any more Cinemac, I drank it all. I'm actually a recovering Cinemac-aholic. So vinegar, Filipino style vinegar, aholic. I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, if I have that in my hands, I'm literally drinking it. Oh, hello, sir. You guys have seasick? Oh wow, Masarap, Masarap. Masarap. Uh, you know, I guess maybe I'll do the solo seasick. Solo seasick, perfect. Yeah, is it? Yeah, dine in. Is your guys' seasick Masarap? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Best seller. Best seller, no way. Oh, great. Or, or should I have the picker picker? Picker picker or seasick? Picker uh, picker is also our, one of our best sellers. Okay, so. It's a beef meat with veggies in it. Picker picker is kind of also Baguio food, right? Yes, sir. It's from Dagupan, right? Dagupan? Yes, sir. Uh, and then seasick is from Angel You've City. You've been there in the Gupan? I've not been to Dagupan yet, wow. but it'd be cool to go. Oh. So you think I should do the seasick or you think I should do the, the picker picker? Oh, which one can you recommend? The picker picker or the CC? Both. Personally, both, oh. sir. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting fat here in the Philippines. I can't eat both. Uh, maybe just one. Which one do you think is going to be good? Picker picker. Okay, picker picker is better? Okay. I'm going to try you guys' picker picker. Okay, sir. Masa up. Anytime I try to make a video, some big truck comes up and just makes all this crazy noise. It's always like this, guys, when you're making YouTube videos. You gotta wait for the food to get cold before you ever eat any food. Okay, guys, so I just got... Oh, no, and then this music. I didn't realize that Bigger Bigger had a bunch of cabbage. I love cabbage. And then you add the calamansi to it. So it's like a little bit of a salad meets a steak. Okay, that is good. That's really, really good. Okay, so the bigger, bigger, it's a very, very chewy cut of beef. Extremely chewy. And it's like, it's almost like a full-on steak. Yeah, the calamansi gives it that nice sour flavor as well. And I just love this cabbage in with this. 
it's like the perfect combination. Really amazing. Wow. So that beef is extra chewy. Like I keep on chewing it and chewing it. It's not tender at all, but it is really good. If you're a fan of beef jerky, you will love Thicker Bigger. It's chewy like jerky. It's kind of a, a little bit more moist, obviously, than jerky, but it's it's really good. It's very peppery and very savory at the same time. Cooked to perfection. I just love the snap of that cabbage. There's little bits of onion in here as well. I mean, this originated in Dagopan, but here in Baguio, we're only like an hour away from Dagopan. I would say that Baguio meat, like the actual meat, the beef, is very high quality up here. All the cows are just eating it from the pastures. It's so much more fresh than a lot of the mass-produced areas. Really, really juicy piece of meat. So I would say that Pick a Picker has got to be on your bucket list if you come to Baguio. Gotta have Picker Picker. Gotta have the porridge. Gotta have the other soups that they really specialize in, including the Pinan Pican, which we are gonna try to find Pinan Pican soon. I don't know where it is exactly, but we are gonna find the Pinan Pican. Okay, so here it comes with one chili. Let's see if this chili is spicy. Here in the Philippines, taking a bite of chili is like Russian roulette. It's like you never know. It could be extremely spicy or it could be extremely mild. It's a very fresh chili actually. And yeah, it is spicy. Gotta be careful guys. Yeah, I need to wash that down with some, some meat right here. Hello, what is this? The cucumber drink. Is that a sweet drink? What's in the cucumber drink? Cucumber and what? Lemonade cucumber. Oh, lemonade cucumber. So a whole bunch of sugar. A lot of sugar. Very sweet. No sugar. No sugar? Yeah. Oh, not, not too much sugar. Oh, okay. Uh, how much is it for one? 25 pesos per cup. Okay. One cucumber, sir? Yeah. So 25 pesos per cup. Okay. Masarap, masarap. So is this your favorite one, or which one's your favorite one? Buko Panda? Ah, oh, I see. So this one's not your favorite, but it's a good one. Yes, sir. Okay, so 25. Yes, ma'am. I think this is 25, just double check. 25, yeah? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay guys, we just got our first drink of the day. This is gonna be perfect for my thirst right now. This costs 25 cents. And it's a cucumber lemonade drink. I have no idea what to expect. This is my first time to try this in the Philippines. But uh, I'm hoping that it tastes like cucumber Gatorade. But I've got low expectations. It's always good to keep your expectations low so you don't feel sad when it's not as good as you were hoping. But yeah, let's see what this is like here. Okay, so it's basically lime Kool-Aid with a couple cucumbers inside. Very refreshing, very nice, but uh, also very sweet. Pretty good though, not bad, just they could use about a quarter of the amount of sugar and I think it would be still very sweet.